Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now today to give him all the thanks, to give him all the praise, and to give him all the glory. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and every last one of us should be glad and always rejoice in it. And God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. And I hope that all my brothers and sisters today, I hope y'all having a beautiful, blessed day today because God is on your side, God got your back, and he is doing things behind the scenes that you don't even see or realize right now today. And if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I want to encourage you right now today, please do so. He's waiting on you, and he is available. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks, give me all praise, give me all glory. We just thank you, Heavenly Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do. We thank you, Father God, how you're moving in our life. We thank you, Father God, how you're guiding us and directing us. We thank you, Father God, how you've ordered our steps. We thank you, Father God, for the love that you have for us, Jesus, the patience that you have for us, Jesus. We thank you, Father God, how you still watch us over us, that you still protect us, that you have us in the palm of your hand, Father God, that, Father God, that you're working all things and everything, God, Father God, to your words right now. Father God, we thank you for your word that we're about to receive today. We thank you, Father God, for your powerful message today. That's going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. And there's no other place, Father God, that we're ready to be at right now today, Jesus. But right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, thanking you, praising you, and glorify and magnify your name, Father God, because you are everything to us, Father God. We always put you first place, Jesus. We're always going to continue to seek you, Father God. Let your will be done today, Father God. Let your words go out, and it should not return by void today, Father God. Allow your love to move through this place. Allow your presence to move through this place. Allow your angels to join us in praise and worship, Father God, in this place right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, I'm expecting something today, Father God. I'm expecting for you to touch my brothers and sisters today, Father God. I'm expecting, Father God, for a miracle today. I'm expecting, Father God, for a breakthrough today. I'm expecting, Father God, that you're going to restore whatever it is the enemy tried to steal from my brothers and sisters today. I'm expecting, Father God, that you're going to do something amazing today. I'm expecting, Father God, that we're going to hear from you today, Father God. Reveal yourself to us right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, I believe and I declare today, God, that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone's ready to get their life over to you right now today. Someone is tired of running. Someone is tired of hiding. Someone is tired of living in the darkness, Father God. Someone want to know the light's full about, Father God. And the angels are already rejoicing in heaven right now today, Father God. And Father God, you will. You should get all the thanks and all the praise and all the glory for right now today, Father God. Heavenly Father God, this is your time. This is your moment that I know that you're about to show up. And I know the fact that you're about to show out. Heavenly Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground, the house that you built on solid foundation, the house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Abba, Father, you are welcome right now. You are invited right now today to enter to your home right now, right here on your YouTube channel right now, right here in your sanctuary, right here on your platform, right here in my brother's homes and my brother's life, right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today to fill us up more with the Holy Spirit right now today, Jesus, because we want more of you and less of ourselves. Father God, I'm asking you right now today to solve in our heart right now. Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, for you to humble us, Father God. Father God, I'm asking you right now today to do something like you've never done before. Get our attention right now today, Father God. Heavenly Father God, we know for a fact that it's not too hard. It's not too difficult for you, Father God. Father God, you know exactly what we're going through, and you know exactly what we're facing. And Father God, we put all our faith and our trust and our hope into your hands right now today. Glory be to God. Holy Spirit, you're welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in this sanctuary right now. Right here on this YouTube channel right now. Right here on this platform right now. Right here in my sister's home. Right here in my sister's life. Right here in my brother's home. Right here in my brother's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now because you are a comforter. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you right now today to quiet our thoughts, quiet our mind right now so we hear your soft still voice right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place right now today. Like I ask us the Holy Ghost fire through this sermon, through this service right now today. Heavenly Father God, please forgive us for our sin today, known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us as white as snow right now today. Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiveness for our sin. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the understanding. Thank you, Father God, for coming through. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am to pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers, 
All my sisters today in one body of Christ today. Father God, we're here today to let you know that we're available for praise, that we're available for service, that we're available for the kingdom, but most of all, Jesus, that we're available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, it's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays in the fruit of my tongue and the fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart out to you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I want more and I want more and I want more of you, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Go and hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. My brothers, my sisters. Let me be honest with you. There's no misunderstanding between you and somebody else. There's no misunderstanding between you and the individual saying, why y'all don't understand each other? Why we don't, why we don't get along? The difference is, y'all don't speak the same language. When you don't speak the same language, it's nothing wrong with you, my brothers and sisters. I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. It's nothing wrong with you. So do not sit there and accept that it's a misunderstanding. Do not accept that it's a communication problem. What the problem is, somebody is walking with God wholeheartedly, and somebody is walking with the devil. They daddy, they AKA baby daddy. That's the only difference. That's what's the issue, what's going on between you and somebody else. That's why y'all don't see eye to eye. That's why y'all That's why y'all have bad communication skills. That's why y'all have bad communication problems because somebody is listening to everything what the word is saying and the other person listening to everything what the world is saying. Them two right there like oil and vinegar. It'll never mix. It'll never match. It'll never go hand to hand. So there's no misunderstanding at all. The reason why that person don't understand you is because you are being obedient to what God is telling you. You are following all his laws and his degrees. They not. They are listening to everything what the devil is doing. The devil has a hold on her. The devil has a hold on him, and they're doing everything what the devil is telling them to do. The devil have a, a way to tell them it's okay to live in the flesh. It's okay to continue to have sex when you're not married. It's, continue, it's okay to continue to live the way that you are doing. It's not wrong with you. There's no misunderstanding. The misunderstanding is them. The communication problem is them. So don't sit there and beat yourself down or beat yourself up thinking that it's you, my brothers and sisters, because I know of some of y'all right now today, you thinking that the problem is you. You say, but why we can't get along? Why we can't communicate? Why she don't understand me? Why he don't understand me? That's the problem. It's not wrong with you. It's not wrong with you. You got a full sense what's going on. You weren't born yesterday. And you weren't, born, you weren't born 30 seconds ago. You might have been born at night, but it wasn't last night, my brothers and sisters. One of y'all is holding hand with God. The other person holding hand with the enemy. And the enemy has a hold on them. The enemy is telling them to push you away. The enemy is telling them to say mean things to you right now. The enemy is speaking a language to them that they understand their language. They get that language. They can tempt that language. But see, when you speak, it's going on their head. They say, what are you talking about? They don't make sense. It makes clear sense to you, but it'll never make clear sense to them. Because why? The devil is the devil of all lies. He's a manipulator. He's a trickster. And that's what he's doing. He is tricking them. He's manipulating them because they see the anointing on you. They see the glow on you. And the devil don't want to be around nobody have a glow on them. They have their anointing on them. They have a, a godly spirit on them. The devil won't no part of that. That's why the misunderstanding is coming from. That's where the communication is coming from. It has nothing to do with you. You're okay. You're not insane. 
They the one insane. They the one got a problem, not you. I want y'all to take a, take a time out and really look at it. Because that's all what it is, my brothers and sisters. The devil's got a hold on them. They hold a hand with God, hold a hand with the enemy too. But they hold a hand more with the enemy than is with God. Because the enemy whispering and making it sound good. They understand his language. They understand their language good. That's why they so that's why they so in cahoots with each other. But they don't realize the moment, the moment God sets you free, the enemy gonna leave them. They're gonna wonder what happened. They're gonna come running looking for you. They already got their Nikes on already. But they want you to think that you the issue. They want you to think that you the problem. They want you to think that you don't understand them. It ain't that you don't understand them. You don't understand bull crap. You don't understand the devil's language. That's why you don't understand what they are saying. It's going over your head like, what is that? Where they come from? So yeah, you can be green to what the devil is saying. I'd be green all day long to that because I don't understand that language. But if something is God speaking to me, I understand that language all day long. Are you following what I'm saying? Hallelujah. So we're going to read our Bibles today from John, John chapter 8, verse 44. Then we're going to read again from John 8, verse 47. And we're going to finish up at 1 John 3, verse 10. That's John chapter 8, verse 44. Then we're going to go to John 8, verse 47. Then we're going to finish up at 1 John 3, verse 10. And if you have your Bibles open, shout out glory hallelujah. Say, I have it. John 8, verse 44. If you have it, say, I have it. You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desires. What is his father's desires? Lies, manip manipulation, tricking people. It's okay to live in sin, continue to do sinful things. It's continue to, to sleep with a woman and a man without being married. It's okay to continue to sleep with different guys. It's continue to sleep with soul ties. It's continue to do what the devil wants you to do. And they mind, they thinking it's okay to do it because they are carrying out their daddy's desire. Whatever it is that the enemy is telling them to do, they're content with that because the devil has a hold on them. The devil is beating on their head and he's making it sound so good, sound so clear to them. They understand that type of language. They okay with that. But see, when you speak, you speak in a foreign language, they understand, like, what are you talking about? You speak in a different code. No, I'm speaking a righteous code. I'm speaking a godly code. So when you speak in a righteous code and a godly code, the enemy does not understand that. But it understands lying, using people, manipulation, tricking people. They understand that language. They know what it is. Continue to live in the flesh. Continue to do things that they know is wrong. Continue to do the continue to do bad things. They know that God does not approve of. They continue to do it over and over again because why? They continue with the MC look at them. Long they continue to live in sin, the enemy don't care nothing about them. It's when you try to break away from sin, that's when he got a problem. That's why y'all misunderstanding it. Oh, heaven, this thing, Jesus. That's why your misunderstanding is happening because one person wants to continue to live in that field. They okay, they okay continue to live in their field. But when you come to realize, they say, I can't do this no more. And you're trying to break loose from it. Now it's a misunderstanding. Now it's a communication problem. Now they want to talk bad and disrespect you. But you got to remember, it ain't them. It's the devil that's speaking through them that's trying to use and hurt you. But it ain't hurting you. Sticks and stones might break my bones, but words will never hurt me. So what you're trying to say to me, whatever you're trying to say to my brothers and sisters, it is brushing off our shoulders because I know who's talking through you. You're being used and abused. But you can't even see. You're too blind. You belong to your father, the devil. And you want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth. For there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks what? His native language. For he is a liar and the father of lies. That's why I say it's not wrong with you. That's why I can tell you there's no misunderstanding. They are speaking and they are carrying out their father's uh, lies and they are carrying and they are following whatever that their father is telling them to do. Their desires to lie, to trick, manipulate, use people, continue to do the same sinful thing over and over and over again and they content living in that mess. That's why he ain't bothering them. That's why they understand each other's language because they're both doing the same thing. 
They both on the same level. They both on the same mindset. That's why they're doing what they're doing. Are you following what I'm saying? So let's go to verse 47. If you have it, say amen. That's John 8, verse 47. He who belongs to God, listen to this. He who belongs to God hears what God says. So that's why I say there's no misunderstanding from you, my sisters. There's no misunderstanding from you, my brother, because you are hearing everything that God is telling you. They're not hearing what God is not telling them. They go to misunderstand the part. The reason you do not hear that you do not belong to God. That's why the confusion is coming in there. That's why the bad communication is coming up between y'all. Because what? They do not belong to God. Who they belong to? They belong to their baby daddy, the devil. They, they are carrying out his laws. They are carrying out his desires. So when God is speaking to them, they don't understand it's like a bad echo. It's a bad friction that's going on. And somebody right now today, you got a bad communication problem, and you think that the problem is you. No, my sister, no, my brother, it's not you. There's no the misunderstanding from you. You okay? It's not wrong with you. It's something wrong with them. If you take if you take a step back and look, it's okay then. How if everybody can understand you, but this one person can't understand you. That's a problem somewhere, right? So the problem is, it's not you. The problem is, it's them. They're carrying on something. What they're carrying, you are not carrying. And they can't understand that. Are you following what I'm saying? Hallelujah. So you please turn your Bible to 1 John 3. We're going to read verse 10. 1 John chapter 3. And we're going to, we're going to read verse 10. If you have it, so I have it. Hallelujah. This is how we know who the children of God are. And who are the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is what? Not a child of God. Nor is anyone who does not love his brother. Listen to it again. Anyone who does not do what is right is not what? A child of God. That means that everybody's not a child of God. You hear that all over? Or everybody's a child of God? It tell you right here in the Bible. It tell you right here in this Bible. Anyone who does not do what is right is not a child of God. So everybody is not a child of God. Point blank period. You can say what you want to say. You can, you can take it how you want to take it. Everybody is not a child of God. Because why? You know what you are doing. And what you are doing is not right. So for you to continue to do the things that you know is not right, you cannot consider a child of God. We know who your father is. We know that you are carrying out his desires. It's what? Lying, stealing, killing, manipulating, using, and still doing things that you know is not right in the, eye of, in the eyes of God. You know it's not right, but you continue to do it because the devil says it's okay to sleep around. It's okay to cheat. It's okay to steal. It's okay to kill. It's okay to use people. It's okay to, it's okay to continue to lead people on. It's okay with that. That's what he's telling you. Don't hang around him. He's a child of God. Don't marry him. He's a child of God. Get away from her. Get away from him. They doing the word. They doing the word thing. And you, okay, devil. Okay, daddy. Whatever you, whatever it is that you want me to do, I'm gonna do. I listen to you. You my master. That's why everybody's not a, a child of God. Because what they doing, they know it's not right. But they content because the devil has a hold on them. The devil has a hold on them. It's not wrong with you. There's no misunderstanding. There's no miscommunication. The problem is, is them. The point I'm making, one of y'all is walking with God, the other one is walking with their daddy. My sister, my brother, we know who you are. You continue to walk with God. You continue to do what he has called you to do. You got to tell God, say, God, I love a person enough to let him or her go. I love a person enough to cut them out of my life. I love them enough, Father God, to say, I know time is up. I need to, I need to leave this situation alone because I know it's not right. You got to be honest with God because God already know what he's going to do for you. He's going to take care of you. It might hurt. It might sting. But you continue to walk with God because I can tell you one thing, my brothers and sisters. 
Once the enemy know that it's lost, the enemy going to lose them. He going to leave them. And when the enemy leaves, they're going to say, what happened? What's so-and-so at? They're going to cry like a wolf. They're going to cry. A wolf only howl when the alpha wolf has left. A wolf only cry when they're not running in packs no more. The pack is about to leave them. Their main man is about to leave them. And when the pack leave and the main man leave, you're going to see who's going to cry. They're going to wish they never done you the way they done you. And if you like what you heard, you know this word is for you. Go and hit Jesus' like button. Hit the subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life, to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying this simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in our life. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happen. Continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer helps and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep out in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up to you. I'm Sarah Minister LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.